Shinzo Abe, if you listen to this podcast, please put soap in all Japanese public bathrooms. We need the English lesson start! The weekend last weekend, it was kind of... The weekend last weekend? The weekend last, last weekend. Last weekend. We didn't go for toilet paper because we're not fucking idiots. The yeah. problem is at the moment, Japan is fucking boring. Don't be touching other people's balls, though. Even if there isn't an outbreak of a potentially deadly disease, wash your fucking hands anyway, you dickhead. Did you want to watch J-League this weekend, Dick? I did! Well, tough shit, you can't. Do not go out, everyone stay in your homes. And my school's just like, oh, but graduation. Stay calm. Don't be a dickhead. Be nice. And don't be a dickhead. So, Joe, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you for having me. It's our podcast, so I didn't want yeah, to Yeah, and also it's your apartment as well. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me, yeah, I should yeah. be saying. You're welcome. But um, today is quite a serious topic. About as serious as we can get. What's been going on with you and Japan recently? Hokkaido's in disarray. Hokkaido is in disarray. That's an understatement, to say the least. Yeah. Um, Japan is in shutdown, national crisis. First of all, let, let, let's backtrack. What is going on in Japan? What happened last week in with the, uh, the Prime Minister? The world, yeah. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. So, Abe Shinzo, Shinzo Abe. Yeah. He Jap- announced, was it last week? Last Thursday, I think? He announced. Last Wednesday or Thursday. Suddenly, out of the blue, that all schools should be closed. In Japan. Not all schools, just classes. I still have to go into work. Joe is currently on a two-month holiday, whereas I have to go into work every day. Hey, I'm but, on um, call. Uh, I'm here if they need me. <laughs> well, you're a nurse. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm ready we, and willing. We need the English lesson start. <laughs> just in there teaching yeah. someone on their deathbed. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, repeat after yeah. me. Yeah. I like Kusaka. <laughs> oh, he's gone. But yeah, so Shinzo Abe issued... Uh, nationwide closure of schools. Uh, basically, just the classes are shut. The thing with that is, he obviously wanted kids to stay at home and be safe from the virus. However, Let's be two yeah, two, two major problems. One, because he announced it so sudden, parents are fucked. Yeah, they don't know what to do with their kids. And Japan already has a problem with child care anyway. There's not enough of it. Yeah. So now suddenly, these parents are finding kids. I mean, maybe. Junior high school and high school kids can manage out, by themselves. Do their things. But elementary school kids, they kind of need someone to be at home. And now they're screwed. Point two, kids are still hanging out yeah. all the time. So I reckon if they were going to go to school, there yeah. would be that kind of closed group anyway. Like a thousand students a day. But now they're going to town. They're going yeah. to cafes. They're going to They're not school bowling. together. They're, they're eating Nightclubs. Well, I don't know what kids do, yeah. Nightclubs? I mean, yeah. this is in England. You never know in... Japan but either. yeah, and it's they're still hanging out together. They're still around people. In fact, yeah. not being at school and going into more populated areas worse. that aren't it isn't controlled like schools are is yeah. probably worse. Exactly, we can't speak from like a point of expertise. Yeah. We're not experts, but I think from a layman's point of view, it's pretty fucking dumb. I mean, you said about the trains being almost deserted at rush hour. That's yeah. because most people aren't going to work. But any other time. They're just as busy as they would normally be. Yeah, yeah, And my yeah. kids are going out and doing things. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, I think for the weekends last weekend, it was kind of... The weekend last weekend? The weekend last, last weekend. weekend. Um, last weekend. Maybe you need to give me an English lesson. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I like Osaka. But yeah, I think like Abe Shinzo, Shinzo Abe, and I never know which way to say his name, the English way or Japanese name. Because they all say big, big S-A. Shinzo Abe. Big S-A. Big SA. Shinzo Abe, SA, oh. big SA. Okay. Um, big, big Sa. His decision was, like, obviously met with backlash because yeah. it was out of the blue. He just gave no forewarning. And like gave medical nothing. professionals as well are saying it's stupid and yeah. myopic and just a completely don't short, understand it. sighted solution. Well, it's not even a solution, but. I mean, he's an idiot anyway, so we'll get onto that another time. Yeah, he looks like Wildor from the Muppets. Is that his name? Do you know the uh, two miserable. Twat, the Joe and Deck. Oh yeah, do you know the in you you know the Muppets? Yeah, you know the two guys who always sit up in the rafters and make comments. Oh, that wasn't half bad. No, it was all bad. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, he yeah. He looks like yeah. one of them because he's got the fat bags under his eyes. I can only recall one though, and it's not the Shinzo Abe one. I think I don't know. He's Shit. just got really big bags under his eyes. He looks like that's what he looks like. Oh. Well, if you know, please leave a comment. Shinzo Abe looks. Like it's just gonna be comments in the comments. Box. That's another one for Last week There's going to be comments in the comments. comments. <laughs> oh my What's god. What's wrong with you today? I don't know. I don't know. Who the, knows? Uh, the desk warming is getting to I you. Know. I'm already bored. But yeah, so there was um, the, the biggest issue that us living in Japan 
have experienced is the lack of toilet paper. Toilet paper. <laughs> it's it's just mad because like there was a rumor going around. It started. There was that rumor going around. I don't know where it started. That toilet paper was made in China, China and Chinese factories were closing down because of the China. virus. So then people started panic buying and buying toilet paper. Going to Costco and buying like yeah, like in bulk, of it. like bulk of bulks of it, and it's just like I went to Costco on what day is it today? Wednesday. Yeah, I think yeah. I went on Monday. And uh, we didn't go for toilet paper because we're not fucking idiots. Yeah. We just went because we needed food. And we looked at the toilet paper section and there was nothing. Wow, like, Costco as well. Absolutely everything had gone. And yeah. it's, uh, come on, people. Because like, cause mo- most toilet paper comes from Japan anyway. It's yeah. made in Japan and it's delivered to Japanese people. So when that was then confirmed by newspapers, people were still mass buying toilet paper and even now, almost a week later, they're still buying toilet paper. To the point where people What's going are, on? People are... They've been reported as people stealing it from, like, convenience stores. So oh some people, have, some store owners have taken it upon themselves to chain down toilet paper. It's ridiculous. So people it? can't steal that it. That is ridiculous. How oh desperate are you? We're in the fucking country that's the, wash lids That's well. literally the equivalent of watching, like, a pig fly. People chaining down toilet paper. Yeah. That's the equivalent. Someone in the world's going like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a million dollars when... Uh, Store owners like chain down their toilet paper. It's like it's happening. It's happening. The apocalypse. But yeah, so I don't know why they're like mass buying that. But basically, is Japan safe? Would you reckon? If someone's like listening to this podcast and they're like, I want to go to Didn't Japan. Did we do this two to uh two podcasts ago? We did, but this is now the coronavirus. Oh, do you mean podcast? is it safe yeah. from coronavirus? Yes. The yeah. problem is at the moment Japan is fucking boring because everywhere is closed. Yeah, well, the Kyoto Board of Tourism have now they branded this lack of tourism as, what was it called? Um, it's like empty tourism campaign. And they're saying, please come to Kyoto now. But don't do anything. Because, no, just because there's no one here, so you can see all the sites. To say, it would actually be the best time to go to Kyoto, because Kyoto, I think otherwise... Words, yeah. The Golden Temple, kind of you cannot even take a picture. That's one way to spin it, because Japan's really struggling at the moment. Yeah. Uh, understandably so, people are worried to come here, and there's nothing really to do here. I mean, you look at... They've, they've got like a list of um, of tourist sites and attractions in Sapporo and it's like a list of closures. Literally every single one of them is closed for the next two yeah. weeks. You Dis- want to do anything? Disneyland's? Disneyland's closed. Near Tokyo, so is Disneyland like, is... I'm pretty sure unprecedented except for obviously very rare yeah. occasions. Luckily, I went like three weeks ago, so... Exactly. Got, like, got I mean, clock everywhere. tower's closed, TV tower's closed, Olympic Museum here yeah. is closed. Anything that you want to do is closed. And a lot of other places, like general things to do, like yeah, bowling. bowling, karaoke, things like that. Not really. I, I don't... In karaoke especially, like... Yeah. I know that things are mostly sanitised. Yeah, bowling be... isn't. People are just... You put those balls back and any... Yeah, don't, like, don't be touching other people's balls, Joe. Just don't do it. I mean... Ask permission first and make yeah. sure they're clean. Anti back is your is like godsend. Yeah. But and people don't want to do that shit. Like no. pool so, darts. You're touching things. There yeah, that that's the thing. J- Japan is safe. If you were going to come here, I'd say it, it's safe. It's like fucking boring. But yeah, the, most places will be shut. Like <clears throat> just wait it out. Actually, don't wait it out because then after we wait it out, the Olympics is going to happen and it's going to. Yeah, oh, that's it's going to get packed long. again. But that's going to be. It's going to go from very empty to very. Uh, Busy very quickly, I think. I mean, if you if you've come to this podcast for statistics, let me tell you now, guys. And actually, you're in the wrong podcast. Yeah, we didn't yeah. even know the numbers before this podcast. We don't know it now. We we won't know after. Yeah. We're shit. Joe Google, <sighs> fucking hell. <laughs> It's embarrassing. I'm definitely editing this No, out. to all the listeners. Right, let's reset. Don't edit this out. It's going to be a serious podcast. To, to all the listeners, I know we're discussing coronavirus, <laughs> but both Deck and I, for whatever reason, are completely incapable of speaking English today. We are just... Not just today, like any day to be <laughs> Stuttering. <laughs> we are falling over our words. We are incapable of pronouncing it's anything correctly. Yeah. Except, except, except <laughs> for... Statistician. Statistician we got... Right. Anyway, where, where were you going? Right, so... Deaths in China approaching 3,000, 2,981. That is a lot of deaths. That's a lot of deaths. Deaths in Korea, 32. Less deaths. Deaths in Japan, 6. Less deaths. I think Japan has got like 160 confirmed cases as well. Obviously, yeah. there's a lot more unconfirmed cases. And there's also the numbers were skewed because of the, the Diamond past. Princess yacht. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the, there was like 700 positive cases. But I think the, the ship, the, yeah, yeah, these yeah. are numbers that don't take that into account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, there, there's like, yeah, about 160 cases in Japan. seven of which are in Hokkaido. Yes. Yeah. 
So over half are in Hokkaido, where we live. And that is why after Shinzo Abe, big, big sa, after his um, announcement, sa. the governor of Kalapuna. Sapporo, yeah. yeah, he said, uh, I'll be back. He said that, don't go out, basically. He said, do not go out Don't this go out weekend. on weekends. Yeah. Great. Thank you. I'm, so, getting, I'm fucking getting cabin fever, Deck. I yeah. think that's why I can't speak. I'm going insane. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of the same, except I just have to travel 30 minutes to work. And, and then, then I just sit at my desk. At work. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't, I don't do anything there. It's ridiculous. I think everyone from the top to the bottom has dealt with this in a really... I don't want to say bad way, but just like there was no forewarning. Yeah, there was, a there was no of, rules in place. There, there was, was a lack, lack of planning. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, all and it, that. And it comes from... Like, I, mean, like, I mean, I think there's people have come out saying it shows just how unprepared Japan were for this. And it wasn't just how unprepared they were. It's the fact that they seemed unwilling to prepare for it, even in the yeah. face of it. Like, they knew that this was coming. Yeah. And they were still like, maybe it'll get better. Spoiler, yeah. it didn't. With Corona comes... Racism. Oh, it does. Did what you see that? in the news that racist ramen shop owner? Was he racist? No, I mean, I think there is a certain level of... Well, for those who don't know, uh, that he, I think there's actually quite a few people who are doing it now as well. They've put a sign outside their shop essentially saying uh, Japanese people only. Yeah. What they mostly mean is, like, why it should be is... Japanese only, literally, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> residents of Japan, of Japan only because yeah, yeah. they don't want people from other countries coming in and potentially spreading the virus, even though Japan is arguably in one yeah. of the worst situations because of it. From our perspective, it's unprecedented. Like, obviously, there was the SARS epidemic mm. um, however long ago, but other than that, this is mostly unprecedented. People don't really know how to act. Uh, people should wash their hands fucking reminder even if there isn't an outbreak of a potentially deadly disease wash your fucking hands anyway you dickheads well maybe from now on then there will actually be soap in japanese toilets really please can i mean you put like actual soap in the bathroom yeah put cold water and it's a cold shinzo water. abe if you listen to this podcast please put soap in all japanese public bathrooms big sar this yeah. is a direct appeal yeah but it's they only have cold water as well yeah in, so water. just washing your hands don't, don't even water. have dryers sometimes. They don't have dryers at all in my school. Just a cold water and a bar yeah. of soap that smells like damp. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to use that. I don't want to use it. So, but, um... So, yeah, there's the... There's racist ramen shop owners going about everywhere yeah, saying no... I, d I do understand. No foreigners. Because the, the one in the news, the one in the news, he put a sign up saying no foreigners, basically, Japanese only. Uh, and he said he wanted to protect his family. Hmm. At that time, I think Japan was either like third or fourth highest deaths so you, his point isn't justified i think is I what think, i'm saying i think the problem is phrasing is like in t from the perspective of a foreigner which we have mm. um i don't disagree with it i understand that there are better ways to go about it i mm. understand that there are better ways to phrase it but that's all lost in translation as well anyway he's just he's putting something out there as yeah. an attempt to prevent it i understand where he's coming from there are better ways to go about it in the grand scheme of things, with the current situation, it's probably not a terrible idea, but also it's ill thought through. If someone comes in from uh, a country that has had absolutely no instances of coronavirus and goes into his restaurant, they're still banned from going in because it is very much a blanket ban. And it's like, yeah. it just, it's... I mean, at the end of the day, it is, maybe it's not racist, but it's it's discrimination. It's ill thought and, which, through. Yeah, it's ill thought through. But I don't think that there was any... There's no malicious intent there. No. It is self-preservation. He's an idiot. That's what he is. A little bit. But He's a fucking backer. That sounds like a slur <laughs> if you don't know the context. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. It's a Japanese word for idiot. That um, literally sounds like a slur. We're talking of idiots. Germany. Red... <laughs> the whole of All of them? Every single one of them? <laughs> no. Right. Talking of idiots. Red Bull Leipzig. Idiots. All of them buying the league. Well, they refused Japanese fans from entering amid from coronavirus fear fears. of Corona. They're the idiots I'm talking about. I'm not racist towards German people. I love Germany. I love the beer. Xenophobic. Love the food. Love the women. My aunt's German. I went to Germany when I was younger, so I am not racist to Germans. You can't be racist to Germans anyway. You'd be xenophobic. 
Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, yeah, yeah. So turning, turning away Japanese people. Yeah, Japanese people travelled from Japan to Germany to go to the game. Um, was it at the stalls or something? They were basically there. Like, it was there at the grounds. Yeah, they were there like, yeah, sorry, um, you can't come in, Corona, and yeah. the Japanese fans were like, and they were like, no, we don't like the beer. We just want to go in. Yeah, yeah. It's, please edit that out. I will. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> yeah, and then. Uh, Leipzig basically doubled down. Yeah, the excuse. What did they say? They, they there was a miscommunication yeah, or something. I don't know it's how like, much of a miscommunication. Not they can really, because you started that miscommunication. Yeah. So how much of a miscommunication was there? Yeah. Bas- basically, I mean, may- maybe that that was the foreigner who went to Tokyo and he went to the ramen shop and was denied. Went back to Germany and, he's like, and then to fat, and that's his revenge. That's fuck, what it is. Fuck everyone. Full circle. That's the problem with things like this as well. Is it's provoking a certain response from people. Mm. Um, there have been cases like this. Bringing out the worst in people. Yeah, it's been spread well. across the internet of like Asian students in foreign countries uh, getting beaten up and everything like that. Shit. And I think the baseline is stay calm. Don't be a dickhead. Be nice. And don't be a dickhead. So we were talking about RB Leipzig. Yeah. Talking about Japanese sports, yeah. did you want to watch J-League this weekend, Dick? I did. Well, tough shit, you can't, because all of the games for the next, I think, three weeks have been cancelled. Bloody hell. Completely. Yeah, the, like... Three weeks? Is it th- three weeks? I think it was maybe just over two weeks. It, I think it's three weeks worth of games, like wow. weekend, yeah, weekend, yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, two weeks, but it was... So, we had, what, the first game of the J-League season, the yeah. three preceding games postponed until god knows when we don't know if they're going to be like if more of them are going to be cancelled yeah and because of it being a spectator sport where they need revenue yeah from these matches they can't play behind closed doors like the baseball is doing here i mean i saw nippon ham fighters on tv the other day hokkaido's baseball team yeah they were playing behind closed doors no spectators maybe it's, it was just a boring game because oh, it's baseball because in baseball it's yeah f- Baseball and cricket can both rot in. I mean, I, I loved cricket when I was younger. Now, not so much. But base, baseball, oh, just... Oh. Yeah. But, and it's just... I mean, that's the effect that they're having is, obviously, 30,000 people in a stadium in yeah. like close contact with each other. That's a hotbed for corona spreadage. And I think the J-League, uh, I don't know what sort of committee it is who have been talking about it. Yeah. But they wanted to enforce rules that if they did start the games like open the games up to fans again that you wouldn't be allowed to chant because open mouth the same yeah. reason that i think you said people couldn't sing at school or something yeah we'll get on to that yeah yeah and uh appara- which, which might be good because in japan they just chant for the full 90 minutes inane bollocks just yeah you sound like you're on a there's no like the referee's a wanker. The referee's a wanker. Yeah, you do sound like you're on a 2P machine for 90 minutes or 90 something. 90 minutes, in it? It's just but not good. Yeah, appa- what were the other rules? Apparently, they were, they were considering giving each fan a buffer zone. So each fan, I think it would be like three feet zone around them. Where, oh, okay. Uh, so each person has like their own so they three only... foot space where oh, right. other people can't stand in for fear of catching it or maybe like That'd certain yeah. fans together in a group and so they only let in like a third of the stadium or something I mean it's like, like 50,000 capacity and they only hit like 24,000 yeah, at the time so yeah. it wouldn't but it's just such a strange thing and I think Japanese football if it does go ahead in the like following weeks is going to be fucking strange to see yeah and also I don't think people are going to be rushing to go, stadiums anytime no, soon anyway. like capacity, so even yeah, if it does that's open, a good point like yeah. capacity is going to be down because people aren't going to ticket prices it. also will be down Joe I hope so you up for I'd, going I'd risk it let's I'd go get the hand sanitizer out yeah get boom the, sorted just we'd have to take our hand own sanitizer face masks beer sorted but yeah so with the whole like non chanting things you said something similar happened at graduate your school's graduation right nice link um, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so graduation high school is kind of much more like it's it's the level up it's yeah. the, it's the biggest graduation it's I like reckon. elementary school is charmander yeah 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 uh, junior high school is charmeleon yeah and high school is charizard bulbasaur oh yeah fuck and then so, university is ponyta yeah 
That's exact. That is the. Well, I was just trying to think comparison. of like the worst Pokemon, but there's a whole litany of them. But yeah, anyway, graduation. Yeah, so my graduation, there was fears that it wasn't going to happen because it was on March 1st. I think the which, same is happening for a lot of people as well. Well, right? this was the thing. That, uh, on March 1st, that was the weekend that the governor of Sapporo said, do not go out, everyone stay in your homes. And my school's just like, oh, but graduation. So we had graduation anyway, but with some rules. First, no parents. No parents, which, I mean, is very sad. Very sad. A lot of... Um, I mean, I think my rule, my graduation is next Friday, the March thirteenth. I don't know when this is going live, but it, yeah, I don't think it will have happened yet. And the rules are still no parents for mine as well, which is you know almost two weeks later than yours was. It is yeah, it's quite yeah, and it's sad because it changes the atmosphere completely because no student cried at this graduation. God, f- fuck it, how no. could they? You usually, I like I have this little game. It's it's quite bad of me but I count how many students cry and you're there like oh. I'm just like one two oh last year was seven you're, like, two you're this like there's less than last but, year so you go up to me kick them in the ankles yeah, really yeah. Hard. <laughs> check yeah but um this year no one was crying um go to them it was only whisper in the ear yeah I'm sorry you're adopted your, your dad's just told me your dog's dead got hit by a car yeah uh, it didn't it had a long slow painful, painful death death well, they wouldn't understand the English, to be fair. But um, <laughs> dog dead now. <laughs> yeah. But um, usually it lasts about two hours because there's about four hundred students in a year, and they all have to stand up one by one and like go onto the front an stage. An hour and a half of the principal doing a speech, speech, which is the most. All even that. I mean, I can't understand it, but I think for people who can understand, it's still anyway. yeah. the most boring fucking yeah. thing known to yeah. man. Yep. And like you said, I think it happened at mine as well. He does a speech, goes off, comes back on and does another speech immediately yeah. afterwards. Yeah, bounce what? the flag each time as well. <laughs> like bounce the students, then goes off and then like the vice principal stands up and says, OK, now the next speech by the principal. And then principal stands up, goes back on stage, bows, bows to the students, does another speech. You're like, just, just stay on. Why are you coming off? No one's going Honestly, on. Honestly, the between. fact that graduation is shorter this year, yeah, I'm happy about. That's the thing, yeah. So my graduation was 30 minutes instead oh, of two hours. Oh, 30 minutes. That's a dream length. However, yeah, good length. Instead of singing the school song, we had a random exile. I still don't know how to actually pronounce this bad well, name. Well, here's the thing as well. Because there, there's exile, there's exile tribe. tribe. There's all the different things in exile tribe. And Journeys, the fact that I know Journeys. about all of this... Is uh, it makes me hate myself. Have you ever had a Japanese kid coming up to you and saying, "Do you like Johnny's?" Who the fuck is Johnny's? Oh no, I don't think well, I'd hold it together if but, they said that. Well, because Jer- it's like... meant to be Journeys, oh. but they say Johnny's because that the name, the, the Japanese guy who made it, I think his name is like I don't know something Johnny. So that's why he called it Johnny's. But then they called it Journey. I actually don't know the history of this, but obviously, if you're British. Johnny means condom. Condom. So in my first year, and maybe even like last year, a few student times, a student comes up and it's like, I like Johnny's. I'm like, what the f- Get to the principal's office right now. And Dick's answer is, no, nah, I don't. Can't feel it as much. <laughs> <laughs> True. We had to listen to a rendition of the school song, a random exile song. And it was just really weird. It was cringy. It was like terrible. Students came out afterwards. We usually we make an arch and like students come under the home homeroom teachers are like crying because it's so emotional. Yeah. The parents are crying. They're rec- recording nothing. I'm so sad. I don't get to see like the complete you know, sadness in people's eyes this year. I know. It's what fuels me. I what know. Keeps it's me what going. fuels Brits, isn't it's, it? It's what I need to keep me going for the next year of school. But this is like it's like this is something I haven't told you. When the students went back into the homeroom. One teacher had a great idea, YouTube Live. He set his laptop at the back of the room, asked parents to log in to see. Oh, that's a good idea. And then he gave them the thing at the front, the certificate at the front of the class, and students could see. So that's a really the, cool idea. It was, yeah, yeah. So you think, okay, parents can like watch it, so it's going to be good. So I, I went on YouTube Live. I followed his link, went on. The entire link, three people were watching. One was me. That's sad. So at least two parents parents were watching, yeah, in a class of 40. To summarise, Hokkaido is safe. Japan Mostly. is safe. But at the same time... It's just everything's closed. Yeah, like, 
we don't really know the true extent of it at the moment as well because with Korea, no. they're handing out free tests like hotcakes. Like, yeah, we don't know if they're if like it'll the get open free of coronavirus testing, just like yeah. test for you, test for you, test for you. So that's why their numbers are as high as they are because yeah. they're testing more people. So in Japan, the amount of undiagnosed people here at the moment could be ridiculously high and we yeah. don't know. However, Joe and I are, as they say, gay and full of spunk. Yeah. So... We're Most, doing fine. I mean, no, I'm fucking lethargic as hell. Don't come to Japan at the moment. It's boring as fuck. It is. Everything's basically shut. Uh, Olympics might be cancelled. I, I actually hope the Olympics will be cancelled. Not cancelled. It's going to be postponed for a year. Because I'm actually going back this year. Because I haven't been back in three years. And yeah. I've got a couple of weddings. So I had to go back. The year of the Olympics. I thought I was actually going. Kind of. I could be in Japan for the first three weeks. And then the last week I'd go. I literally miss all of it. And I miss the marathon that goes literally past my house. Oh, it's actually going to go past your house? The roads adjacent. I think it's going to be out here. So I'm po- for those, I mean, this is an audio podcast. I'm pointing to my left, which is out of the window. Yeah. <laughs> so Just I, ima- imagine a window. Imagine Joe pointing. And that is what is happening right un- now. Corona, stay safe. Don't panic. And Please wash your hands for the love of all your this hands. fucking holy. Wash your hands with warm water and soap. Don't be a dickhead. Don't be disgusting. Practice basic hygiene. Do that when there isn't a potential global blight. I don't know what the difference between an epidemic and a pandemic is. Whichever one is applicable to this situation. True. Cheers. Yeah. Good ending. Thank you. All right. Good See you later. <laughs>